Welcome back to the channel guys, episode 23 of the Danish Youth Academy Challenge and today we've got another youth intake. Let's have a look at it, let's do this. It's the end of the regular season, so we played 22 games right before we get into the last stage, relegation stage for us this season. We're only three points though off the top promotion, well not promotion stage, the championship group it's actually called. Three points off that, plus four goal difference, which is absolutely mental. I thought we were going to be minus like 20, I'm not going to lie. And I thought we'd be around like 20, 22 points, something like that. But we've been really, really well. Players have just got better and better and better. That last youth intake as well really helped us out because the players have been getting way better, quicker. Obviously, we're professional as well. And it's uh, and it's actually catapulted us up the league. Well, higher than I thought we would be. So we are eighth. Next season, I'm going to be pushing for around the same sort of spot. Um, maybe... With an extra year, we could potentially jump into that sixth spot. We'll see. Might be too early. But I don't mind staying in this situation for another couple of seasons. Absolutely fine with me. Uh, some of these players that we've got now are the best ones we've ever had. So who knows? Some of them could genuinely become world class. Talking of world class, I'm going to show you someone right now that we lost a couple of seasons ago. And I keep meaning to show him on videos. But I keep forgetting. And he keeps popping up because I shortlisted him. Dalglass. At AZ Alkmaar. Let me show you him. This is Mr. Dalglass. He's worth up to 88 million. Yes, you heard that properly. He's got six caps for Denmark. 20 years old, playing for AZ. And he's a wonder kid. And he's absolutely phenomenal. He's wanted as well by Man United there. Obviously, he's not wanted by us. I've just shortlisted him so I can listen to it. Well, watch all his accomplishments. 17 goals in 40 games this year for AZ. And I honestly think he played the majority in centre midfield. I don't actually know. No, he played... No, he played striker. He played striker all season. That's really good. He's got a lot of traits. I don't know if you guys can see all them. Tries killer balls often. Attempts overhead kicks. Tries tricks. Tries first time shots. Tries long range passes. Likes to beat opponent repeatedly. Likes to switch ball to wide areas. He is literally six foot one as well. He's just... I can't believe we lost him for nothing. The AZ after he played seven games for us. He got three assists. Didn't score, but... Yeah, so I've been wanting to show him for a while, but this is sort of obviously his best state, his best level he's been at just yet. Only 11 composure, 11 vision, but I'm sure he'll get even better than that. Obviously, we were in no position to keep him, but I thought I'd show you guys because honestly, every time I look at him, he's better every single every single year. I get a message at the end saying he's won an award. I click on him and think, oh my God. So I've been wanting to show you him for the last two seasons. But, um, but here he is. Okay then, so we spoke about where we are in the league after 22 matches. We've spoke about Dalglass, the one that got away. And now let's do the youth intake. So technically, the last intake... Well, no, actually, factually, the last intake was the best intake we've ever had. This year, it should be better just because we've had more upgrades. It's going to be hard to be better than last season. But let's have a look. One, two, three. You guys can't see it. You guys can't see it. Watch this. Watch this. Oh my god. Right at the top. Two four and a half star. Two current ability players. Now it doesn't look like we've got much in the rest of them. It doesn't look like we've got too much. Oh my god. I have never, ever, ever had one four and a half star player through. Never mind two. I've had a four-star player through once on Twitch stream when I was managing in Portugal in a Youth Academy Challenge. But I have never had one four and a half star, never mind two. Oh my god. One's Norwegian as well. One's a six foot four winger slash attacking. Wow. Wow. Oh wow. Okay. Um I want to get to those guys, but I'm going to have to get to these guys first, right? We're going to do these guys. Samir Mohammed, I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. I really hope they haven't got like injury proneness or something really bad. And balanced as well. I hope he's a good balanced. Oh my God. Right, okay. Samir Mohammed, 15 years old. He's half Palestinian, centre back. One and a half star current ability. Only four stars potential, but he's got a good personality. Good media handling style. So I'm going to sign him up anyway. And he's a centre-back, so I do want to switch to three at the back. Especially now seeing this guy as a DM. I'm going to have to try and get him in as a DM. And that's more midfielders. So I do need to somehow switch formation to three at the back. Um, but Samir Mohammed right now is the first one we're going to check out. So let's have a look. 
Yeah, he's got decent base attributes. He's got good determination, good teamwork, bravery, aggression, decent jumping as well. Technique's okay. Ta uh, marking's okay. Not that good at anything else. But he's going to get signed up just because of his personality and his media handling style. And um, hopefully he goes up in personality. I, guys, I can't wait to check those guys out at the top. I really can't do it. Right, I'm going to check out Anders Sondergaard really quick. He's only one star current ability and he's low determination. So he's not going to get signed up. But let's check him out anyway. Yeah, so like I said, if he was a good personality, he'd be signed up. But he isn't. Three determination. Decent attributes, but not for us. Right, next guy is from Afghanistan, but he's also half Danish. And he's fairly professional, and he's a goalkeeper, Sharan Ahmed. Let's have a look at Sharan. 18 rushing out. Four concentrations, not very good. Um, but the personality, we're going to sign him up. Six foot two, which is nice. Handling, one on one, six. Not too bad. He can take a free kick as well at eight. Technique's nine, that's quite good. Not too bad at all, not too bad at all. Right, Oliver Rasmussen, attacking midfielder, unambitious, not going to sign him up, but let's have a quick look at him. Yeah, he looks okay again, but like I keep saying, I'm not going to sign him up. Not just yet, anyway. In a couple of seasons, when we've got the players that have just come through, when they're like sort of 19, 20, that's probably when I can start mentoring players. So, but yeah, I can't start mentoring. They won't have enough effect on the unambitious players. So I'm not going to sign Rasmussen up just now. Also as well, he's in a position that we have plenty of, so we're not going to miss out. Next up, we're going to have... Soran, Soren Gulstoff, another Gulstoff, centre back, fairly professional, reserved as well, which is quite nice. Uh, only one star current ability, so he won't look very good to start with, but he's a centre back, so I'm excited. You know what? He's not even that bad. Six positioning, seven marking, so we're going to instantly work on his defensive positioning. Aggressive and brave, which is good. Good leadership. Physicals are quite good. Ten technique. Yeah, sign him up, put him in the 19s, see what happens with him. Jeppe Jensen, five foot two, left winger, three determination, but sporting personality, unflappable as well. So let's have a look at Jensen. Not too bad. Someone did mention as well in the comments in a couple of videos, or a couple of videos back, that they like signing players with a sporting personality with low determination. Uh, it's usually a sign of a good personality, which I wasn't sure of. Still not sure of, but I will take that person's word for it. I for, sorry, I forgot who your name was because there's plenty of comments, and I've uh, I'll, I might go and find it and stick it on the screen right now. But um, but basically, unflappable personality as well is really good. So I will sign him up just as sort of like a a test of that theory, guys. I just can't wait to get to those two at the top. Right? Okay. Who's next then? Who's next before we can get to the main guys? Uh, we have got Lindbergh and Yusuf, I think. Lindbergh and Yusuf. So we'll go first. We'll go with Yusuf because he's only one, one and a half star current ability. Uh, he's a DM as well. So potentially could be... Uh, oh, he's not going to get a second nationality. He's not going to get a work permit, is he? Oh, I've just realised. Players that have come through with the uh, first choice nationality of not Danish, basically. Uh, and a second... Uh, well, a nationality of a non-EU uh, a foreign country the uh the denmark they don't get work permits which is annoying but let's have a look at yusuf 15 first touch okay he's not too bad he's actually not too bad good decision making good technique good work rate vision definitely going to sign him up he's definitely more of a playmaker than a ball winner but you never know so yeah i'm going to try and sign him up obviously if we can't get the work permit we can't get the work permit nothing i could do about that but I will try. Okay, now we've got Henrik Lingberg. This guy is a centre midfielder, left midfielder, and a striker. 10 determination, 2 star current ability, balanced personality. Let's have a look at Lindbergh. Very good. Okay, so he's a striker. He is a striker. 14 pace, 12 acceleration, good finishing. Yeah, okay, he's a striker. I mean, he can also play as a shadow striker. He's not bad at that, to be totally honest. And he's competent at shadow striker. Um, ball, centre midfielder. You know what? He's actually quite good all round, isn't he? He could play as a striker. He could definitely play as a box to box midfielder. He's got good tackling as well, decent marking, decent positioning, good aggression, bravery, teamwork, work rate, good physicals. I like this guy. I do like this guy. Hopefully, that balanced personality is a good balance. What's his media handling style? Media friendly. It's not terrible. It's not too bad. Not the best. It's all right. Right, guys. This is honestly what we're all waiting for. Because, honestly, the other guys were good. No problem. But this is something I've never had before, and I honestly cannot wait. Which one do we click on first? I think we click on Oli Marius Sherman, or Shermon? Sherman. I don't know how you say his name. Uh, if any of the Norwegian guys in the chat could let me know how you say that. I think it's Sher, Sher. I think the first bit is Sher. 
uh, like a like a sort of not a silent J, but like a different. And then the uh, the O there sounds like a like an Oli Oli Gunner sort of thing. I think Oli Gunner Solsky has got like a thing on his name, hasn't he? So, um, Sherman Sherman. Regardless, he looks absolutely insane. He's also a DM, so he also lending even more help to that formation I wanted to change to. So let's have a look at Oli Marius Sherman. Light-hearted personality, unflappable media handling style. Oh my god. One, two, three. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. He's got no weaknesses. None whatsoever. He's a ball winner. <laughs> don't know what to say. I don't know what to say, guys. How good is he? He's not 16 until the start of the next season, so I can't use him for the rest of this season. That is crazy that he's going to have to play under-19s football for the rest of this season. Wow. <laughs> Look at him. Look at his physicals already at 15. If you got this player through at any team on football manager in the world, you'd be buzzing, wouldn't you? And these attributes, if you've got any of them through, any, any team, any level, five-star clubs, you've got to play like that through at 15 with attributes looking like that, you would be absolutely buzzing, wouldn't you? You would. I can't believe it. And not only have we got one, we've got, we've, we've got two. These intakes have been better for us, by the way, than any time anyone we've had in Italy. Already. Can't, I can't believe it. Right, let's check the other guy out. Kasper Argerson, six foot four, left midfield, attacking midfield, left and centre. Balanced personality, media friendly. Not the greatest two. It's all right. It's, it's like right in the middle. Um, for a while, let's have a look at Kasper. I can't wait for this. One, two, three. Oh. My God. Wow. He gets better and better the more you look at him. Straight away, I was looking at his physicals. 15 years old, 6 foot 4, 14 jumping reach, 13 pace, 14 acceleration, 13 agility. And then I looked at the mentals. 17 work rate, 17 teamwork, 14 flair, 16 technique. Wow. Tries killer balls often. Which one do you think is better? I genuinely don't know. Let's have a look at his reports. He's fairly consistent as well. Now his first choice position is left wing. We've got plenty of those, so he will go in attacking midfield. Shadow striker, he's straight away the best shadow striker in the entire club. Oh my god. I can't, I don't know what to say. I genuinely don't know what to say with these two. The rest of the players could have literally been like Mickey Wright at the bottom, right? They could have been one and a half star potential and just those two, and it would still be a 10 out of 10. Going back to Casper as well, I did notice that he's not even... I can't play him until November next season. It'll be eight months until I can use him. Which is going to be very annoying, but I'm going to have to wait. I do wonder if these guys want release clauses in their contract straight away. Let's have a little, little look. Let's well have a look. Yeah, they do. They've locked him in straight away. Release clauses. Oh, dear. Very annoying, but it is what it is. Going to try and get the... the uh, two-year contract i don't know why it gives me a three-year option but then it says that's only until december i do wonder if i give him 
Now I wonder if you could up the uh, up the wage uh, the give the contract length, but I can't. I'm gonna give him th three hundred. Oh, I don't know what to do here. Do I go an optional extension? Three years and try and give him four hundred, five hundred, right now. Okay, can't do anything about this. There's there's literally nothing I can do. It's been locked in. Um, so I've got my three years plus three years. The only thing I think we can do. Let's have a look at Marius as well. They've got no agents, have they? No, so I can't sort of get rid of that. That's frustrating. Breakthrough prospect. Yeah, he's locked in the exact same number. He wants the release clauses as well. So if we go the same with him and we go there, we do that with the three years and try and do that. That's the best I can do right now, right? Can't do anything about the release clause. I do think when they become available to play um, and I try and give them another contract, hopefully they've got an agent and I can sort of speak to the agent beforehand to try and get rid of those clauses. But I've got a feeling that they might not want to, uh, to sign a new contract because they're going to be the best players straight away. For example, if you look at my first team, I have Lucas Dillong, who is four and a half stars, the same level. If I, if I want to discuss a new contract with him, he's not interested. So I think those two are going to be the exact same. Well, that was absolutely ridiculous. I have no idea how that's just happened. The facilities are exceptional, exceptional, and only average youth facilities. Um, wow. We do have 2.8 million in the club because of um, the TV rights that come in and because of the money we got after finishing the 22 games. Uh, you get money after that as well. So 2.8 million in the club, really, really good. Like I said, I could get a, an upgrade right now, but I think... I'm just going to wait and sit on the cash a little bit. I'm going to get tax at the end of the season, which is annoying, but um, it shouldn't be too much. But guys, wow, what an intake. What a video. Cannot believe it. I can't wait for those guys to hit the pitch and start playing. Leave a like on the video. Leave a subscription on the channel if you want to carry on watching this journey with Slayels in Denmark. It's only up from here. Good things to come. Hopefully we're going to be qualifying for Europe with those two guys very, very soon within the next three seasons. Thank you for watching as always. And until next time, I'll catch you then. Goodbye.